Hey guys, today I'll show you how to add multiple domains on CloudRun so that you can use its multi-domain email server feature. This involves Rocknerd VPS, CloudRun, and of course your domain names. For this tutorial, I will be using two domain names, webshanks.shop and webshanks.store. I registered this domain names on Namecheap and we will use Rocknerd as our VPS. Okay, let's start. Well, go to Rocknerd, go to VPS and choose KVM VPS. Start with 2 GB of RAM. Click order now. Choose Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and we need LA or France. France is not available at the moment. We will need Los Angeles as our location so that we can have IPv6 and just click continue and click checkout. If you have already created an account on Rocknerd, you can just choose your account name and if you don't have, just create your uh, new account and choose your preferred payment method. You can choose PayPal, credit card or cryptocurrencies and just click this one and complete your order once you have paid your uh, VPS Rocknerd will email your credentials you need to check out your email for login credentials for your VPS control panel and your root uh, credentials once you have received those credentials open a ticket that you will need an ipv6 for your server go to open ticket and click support just ask your support that you will need an ipv6 and of course you need to change its reverse dns okay, just request more ip DNS. Hello. Uh, we'll just. I would like to have an IP physics and please change the RDNS for both IPv4 and IPv6 to mail the webshanks that stored and just hit submit uh, they will reply quickly let's go to our VPS control and I'll just hit login here this is your Rocknerd VPS control and we will change our host name to mail.webchunks.store as you can see I have already changed it to mail.webchunks.store if you want to change your host name, go to host name and add your um, host name here. And if you have received your IPv6, it will appear on network. I already have an IPv6 and of course my IPv4. Okay, let's check our IP if this is blacklisted. Let's go to MX Toolbox. Just paste your IP here and click uh, block list check. Okay, good. Our IP is clean. We have zero uh, block list. And next we will check if our reverse DNS has already propagated. Let's just go to reverse lookup and just hit reverse lookup. Okay, great. We have pointed our reverse DNS to our host name and let's try to check our IPv6. And by the way, before I forgot, both IPv6 and IPv4 re reverse DNS are handled by Rocknerd support. So we did contact them a while ago 
and change it to our host name okay let's try our ipv6 okay great we have pointed this to our host name now we need to install cloud run but first we need to connect to our server using MSSH client called Bitvice. It's free. I will put a link on the description down below. Okay, let's open our Bitvice. Uh, beside host, put your IPv4, use port 22, and your username will be root. And just click login. Click accept and save. Paste your root password here. This credentials right here will be sent to you in your email after paying your uh, VPS. Just click OK. Go to the terminal console. First, let's update our packages. So do apt. Up, I'm sorry the updates okay we have successfully updated our packages now let's install cloud run I'll just pull something right here okay these are the commands to install cloud run we will we'll run the first command Okay, next. Then let's execute. Okay, finally we have installed our cloud run on our VPS. We'll enter Y so that we can reboot our uh, server. Okay, as you can see, we don't have an IPv6 yet. Let's go back to support. Let's see if they have replied. Okay, they have replied. You will get a message like this. We will need to go to this directory. Let's go back to Bitvice. I'll just close this one first. Let's click New Terminal Console. We'll just right click and it will automatically paste let's copy this one use your arrow keys to go to the bottom first we'll set this to zero and we will paste okay let's enter and we will reboot okay let's see if we have enabled our ipv6 i'll just close this one let's open a new terminal console and we have already enabled our ipv6 let's go to our cloud run by using our ip address Click Advanced, click Accept the Risk, and Continue. Next, we will go to Cloudflare. And just click Login. If you don't have a, cloud a Cloudflare, just sign up with a free account. Let's add a site. Click Add Site enter our domain click continue scroll down just use free click continue okay scroll down just click continue we will copy this name servers here to our domain register 
let's go to our domain register I'm using Namecheap I'll just click manage here okay do not use uh, Namecheap basic DNS use custom DNS paste your Cloudflare name server site right here this one and this one so this would be your name servers and you just click uh, save right here and let's click continue or just finish later it okay, will just wait it will take at least 24 hours to propagate but we'll wait for at least a few hours okay let's check if the DNS has been propagated okay, let's click overview Okay, great and let's go to our cloud run installation okay we'll enter our domain here we will use cloudflare and we will be using global api key let's go back to cloudflare scroll down click get your api token Uh, choose global API key click view and click view okay, I'll copy this paste your global API key right here and your Cloudflare email let's click next Okay, we'll add our full name here. Let's say Tony Starf. Okay, I'll add my web one at gmail.com. Add our username and set the password and just click create admin. Proceed to the dashboard. Okay, now let's enable email server go to your username and choose email click this pencil icon right here click enable and don't forget to check this one just click enable let's go back to email and let's set this to our host name remember our host name let's go back to our control panel go okay this is our host name we'll set this one to mail that web store click save okay good uh, let's check again our email we'll add a mailbox let's say info we'll assign this to the owner click save and let's let's check the status all green but first let's go back to cloudflare we will add an ipv6 together with our spf okay let's go back let's go to dns scroll down we will add our ipv4 and ipv6 right here Okay, let's go back to our VPS control panel copy this one put IPv4 colon paste it here and our IPv6 copy this one IP6 paste it here and click save now let's go back to cloud run we will install a webmail go to App Store and if you don't have um, a cloud drone account you can just sign up or if you already have sign up enter your credentials here enter your password click login
Okay, we will install a webmail. We'll try as I'll go. Okay, let's install. If you want to use your uh, domain, be sure to have a record. Let's go back. Okay, we have already have an area record for our uh, domain, top level domain. We will use our top level domain to install uh, Sogo or to access rather Sogo. You can install. Okay, let's open our webmail. That will be info at webshops. Let's store and your password will be your cloud run password the one that you have uh, set up earlier so let's click login okay great now we will test our email server by sending a test email to gmail Okay, let me open my Gmail first. Okay, I'll just mark this as red. Let's go back to our webmail. Let's create a new message. Webshanks gmail.com. Okay, for our subject, I'll be using an email template. Copy this one. it here just copy the body okay let's send this one okay great we have received this on our inbox directly okay next we will add another domain on cloud run let's go back to cloud run so that we can use its multi-domain email server let's go to our profile and choose domains and certs click add domain add your domain name here i'm using my second domain name we'll be using as usual cloudflare and we'll add our domain name on cloudflare so let's add site will be webshanks.shop okay continue then scroll down choose free continue and scroll down we will remove this first delete this one let's clear everything before adding it on cloudflare then click continue click confirm and we will add this name servers to our domain register let's go back to name cheap okay let's manage our second domain we will use custom dns let's paste the first cloudflare dns and the second one and just click save We'll wait for a few hours for the DNS to start propagating. Okay, let's go back to Cloudflare. Click continue. We'll just finish later. Next, let's get our API token. Click view. Just click view, copy, let's go back to cloud run, paste our global API key, and enter our email address, registered on Cloudflare. Just click save.
Okay, we have added our second domain, which is webshanks.shop. Let's go to email. Let's click this pencil icon again. We'll just enable our incoming mail for our new domain. And of course, let's enable. Okay, great. We'll add a mailbox. Let's say info and save let's go to status let's refresh okay great all are green let's try to send a test email on mail tester as well as to uh, gmail let's go to our inbox we'll just like this one out Okay, let's log in at webshanks.shop. Paste our password here. Let's log in. Let's try to send a test email to Gmail first. use of course an email template copy this one paste it here and let's copy this subject and let's click send great okay great we have received our test email directly to inbox on gmail let's Test it on mail tester. Okay, I'll just copy this one. I'll be composing another message. Paste our recipient here. Copy this one. And the body. Okay, I'll just paste it here and we'll send this one to a mail tester. Okay, let's test our score. Okay, 9.5. Let's see if why is it 9.5? Okay, great. This one cost a 9.5 score because I have just registered this domain in 14 days. So that is one of the cons of having a new domain and you need to warm your ip so that you can build a reputation don't send new emails if you are reaching out uh, new clients especially in cold e email marketing you just need to warm up your ip and inbox for warming your ip you can register with success.ai they have unlimited warm-up for your IPs and of course they are also a lead gold mine they have 700 million leads and you can also use success at to send cold emails and also if you want to have a lifetime access with success at AI uh, check the link on the description and below for $49 you can get a lifetime access with success.ai so check the link on the description down below so that you can have your unlimited gold emails sending and that's it this is how you will add another domain on cloud run so that you can use its multi-email domain functionality and you can send emails using uh, multiple domains with one IP address. This is very cost efficient and uh, centralized but of course be careful with sending emails because you might get a report that your emails are spam and 
your IP will be on the block list. Since you have only one IP, you better take good care of it. And as usual, if this video helped you in any way, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.